one of the things that the ACT will ask you to do is find the area of different shapes. You might see some funky looking shapes, but if you know the area formulas for parallelograms and trapezoids, you can deconstruct almost anything that contains a four-sided shape. Let's start by finding the area of parallelograms. The area of any parallelogram, including a square or a rectangle, is just base times height. Notice that our height isn't one of our sides. That's because the height of a two-dimensional figure is the length of a perpendicular line connecting the base to the farthest point from the base, which creates a right triangle. In this instance, the base is 2 and the height is 3. So we can just plug those into the area equation, area equals base times height. In this case, area equals 2 times 3, which comes to 6. If we have a rectangle or a square, the height is one of the sides because the sides are all at 90 degree angles to one another. So if this rectangle has a base of 3 and a height of 2, the area is the same as the parallelogram that we just looked at. Because as we know, area is equal to base times height, or in this case, 3 times 2, which is 6. You can find the area of a square the same way, although the base and the height will always be the same. Instead of area equals base times height, we can say that area is equal to side squared since the sides are all equal. Looking at this example, the side length is 12. Plug that into our formula and we get 12 squared, which is 144. As you can see, finding the area of four-sided parallelograms is pretty straightforward. But what happens if you need to find the area of a trapezoid? Here's a trapezoid, a four-sided figure with two sides that are parallel and two that aren't. To find the area, the formula is 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times height. Let's say that base 1 is 2 and base 2 is 6 and the height is 3. All we need to do is plug our values into the area equation. So we'll put in 1 half times 2 plus 6 times 3 and get 1 half times 8 times 3, which is 12. That's all fine and dandy if you have a regular shape. But what if you're presented with a more unique shape? In that case, all you need to do is break it into shapes that you can find the area of. Let's look at an example from the ACT. What is the area of the figure shown below? All sides are at right angles with one another. The answer choices are A, 100, B, 125, C, 132, D, 148, and E, 180. Let's underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. The most obvious thing to do here is to divide this shape into two rectangles. So let's continue that middle horizontal line. If we do, we get two rectangles. One has a height of 4 and a base of 12, and the other has a height of 5 and a base of 20. So if we use our formula, area equals base times height, we get 4 times 12 equals 48 for the top rectangle, and 5 times 20, or 100, for the bottom rectangle. To figure out the total area, we add our two separate areas to get 148. Answer D it is. And with that knowledge, you can find the area of just about any shape, no matter how funky it looks. So start practicing.